Water utilities in Iowa using shallow alluvial wells to supply drinking water have watched nitrate levels increase. Blending water from a contaminated shallow well with clean water from a deep well is a short-term fix to meet regulatory standards for drinking water. However, it is not a solution. A dynamic source water protection program is a tool that local water suppliers can use to maintain or improve their drinking water quality. Pollution prevention is essential for drinking water quality and reduces the potential for needed costly treatment. Involvement and commitment from the local water utility, city managers, conservation partners, and local citizens is key for a successful source water protection program. Water protection is exactly what the DNR's targeted source water protection program is about. The first phase involves investigating where and how the contaminants are getting into the water supply and includes implementing practices to reduce the amount of contamination reaching groundwater. The program's second phase is putting together a project to reduce the contamination that's already there and to protect the well field into the future. An excellent example is planting a native prairie on sensitive land through which groundwater flows into a well field. As of 2012, 10 of approximately 200 communities with water supplies of concern for nitrate in areas highly susceptible to contamination are working on a source water protection project. Becky Ortman coordinates the DNR source water protection program. She helps cities put together their local source water protection planning team and provides team support throughout the project to its completion and beyond if needed. The success of any source water protection project relies heavily upon the local planning team. The members of that team should include your NRCS office staff, the community leaders, and your local landowners. From those members of that planning team, we gather a lot of information that helps us in our groundwater site investigation. In the end, we have a successful source water protection project because of the community planning team. As a groundwater site investigator, I've noticed a number of instances where communities have had practices that were contaminating the groundwater and they were more than willing to change those practices when they realized the impact. That's why an investigation is so important when a city considers putting together a source water protection program. A lot of specific information is needed to figure out each well's capture zone, the chemicals and practices that take place, the types of soil in the area, geologic features, and the direction and speed of groundwater flow all affect the path and the speed contaminants take through the soil and groundwater. When that information is known, it can be determined where and how large a source water protection area should be and the types of practices that are workable for a particular community's needs. Advising the groundwater site investigators is a DNR technical assessment team made up of a geologist, an engineer, a hydrogeologist, and a physicist. Together they look at the area from where a particular well draws groundwater, consider the types of activities and chemicals that occur there, and determine priority places to take samples. We'll have that next week. The lead site investigator drafts a report on the results of the investigation for the technical assessment team to review. A final report is then presented and explained to the local planning team. The technical assessment team and investigator next put together recommendations and project options for the local planning team to consider based on the effectiveness at reducing contamination from non-point sources. The responsibility of determining the best options for their community is then in the hands of the local planning team. Coordinator Becky Ortman participates in the local planning discussions, offering suggestions for funding aspects of the project, gathering stakeholders willing to share their resources and talent, and helping put together the phase two plan that funding sources heavily consider in grant decisions. Cities may purchase the wellhead protection area so water supplies are protected long into the future. Both Remsen and Elliott were able to purchase their wellhead protection lands with grants from the Watershed Improvement Review Board. Remsen purchased an additional 35 acres adjacent to its well field to protect the land for future water needs. That additional purchase was made with a 0% interest loan from the State Revolving Fund. Local Pheasants Forever chapters provided Remsen's project with native prairie seed and planted it in the wellhead protection area and in its current and future well fields. Prairie plants' deep roots take up more nitrogen than crops do with their shallow roots. 
Each year, the roots of native grasses grow in mass to further increase nitrogen uptake. Plus, the project provides much needed wildlife habitat. In just three years since planting native grasses, monthly monitoring at Remsen's well number eight shows nitrate has been reduced 40%. Now the Remsen team is working on a phase three plan, adding a walking and biking trail that will be wheelchair accessible, an outdoor classroom with stations that offer prairie habitat and environmental science information, and a system for the grassland maintenance. The city of Elliott's project to reduce nitrate is the reestablishment of a 22-acre wetland. An established wetland through a complex natural process is an excellent long-term solution for nitrate reduction. The DNR suggested to wetlands that this was something that would take the nitrates out. So we put together a team and a very good team of 20 to, I think there's 22 members on the team. We discussed at many meetings and we come to the conclusion we'd go with uh, the wetlands. There was grants out there for that. It was going to be a lot cheaper for the city of Valley, which, you know, the population is 350 people. We couldn't, you know, afford a nitrate removal at this time. So this is really a, a really low-cost alternative for cleaning up the nitrates in their water. Now, it's not going to be immediate but it is proactive, it's taking the nitrates out of the water before it reaches the water system, instead of once it gets in there, removing it. That's much more expensive. Once the local planning team settles into its problem-solving role, there's no telling how resourceful it will grow to be. Elliott has incorporated several community use benefits in its project. Long and short walking trails, a bridge to more closely observe wildlife in the wetland, interpretive panels, and a shelter house. All features funded by stakeholder organizations along with local, state, and federal resources. On the east side of the gravel road, we're going to put a berm, uh, kind of to strengthen the road surface a little bit, should it possibly be wetter. And that will also act as the walking trail to kind of go around the, the entire wetland. Uh, I just got word this morning that uh, we got permits from the Army Corps of Engineers, so we are we're probably two to three weeks away from probably uh, going out for bids and having sites showing bid openings and whole works. You know, to have this many hands in a project that is going to improve your drinking water sits in the backyard of an elementary school a prairie and a wetland that's iowa's history i mean right there in their backyard i don't know any other schools that are that lucky um we hope to see a, a wonderful shelter that can be used by the community um chuck full of of containers of testing equipment and collecting equipment so that no matter what subject these kids are learning it could be taught out here once projects are up and running, the DNR will continue to monitor or check its impacts on the city's water supply quality. The local source water protection teams also annually evaluate and update projects to effectively keep contamination out of the water supply. Water treatment to reduce nitrate and other contaminants doesn't have to carry a huge price tag if a community is willing to work together to safeguard their water source. The DNR Source Water Protection Program is a dependable partner to accomplish that goal.